Before we start, Jelani, I want you to count to five. Can you do that for me? One, two, three, four, five. Mm. Let's do it backwards. Five, four, three, two, one. Ooh, <laughs> educated. You know okay. what? I'm not gonna allow you to start this <laughs> like that. I'm not okay. gonna let you play me. I'm, oh, okay, you know what? Go ahead. Jelani, first of all, you okay. tried, I, I don't know when this is gonna come up. <laughs> <laughs> I just feel it. I Go just ahead. want to say, you okay. know, I want to claim the amount of projects that we've done together and okay. be very clear. You know what I'm saying? We've had that California visual poetry. We've been in the downtown streets. We've been in the New York City streets. And we have been in Pomona, California. That's Hometown. four. Hometown. Oh, four is kind of petty. I feel like, where's the rest? There's, some, there's something. I'm missing there's one. There's something we haven't, but also we worked together, Black Love, so that kind of been yes. that flow into that too. Right. You know? But. We worked together on Black Love, then we made a Black Love project. Not necessarily ours. You know, but <laughs> <laughs> we brought it in. Yeah, yeah. We brought it in. So um, clearly we enjoy working together. It's a fact. Before you ask that question, I wanted to ask, why do you feel like you'd want to continue to work with me? What do I bring to the uh, table that makes sense for you? I thought you would never ask. Okay. I think you are a great director. I think Ooh. you're a great communicator. And you're okay. very, very clear. Okay. We know what Jelani wants. And that is where the gray area on other projects goes up in flames. Okay. But when I'm working with you, I always know what you want. Everything's clear. Never disorganized. Always set, like... Set, set the tone, but always give me the um, okay. idea prior to know what you want from me, and then we get on set and you're like, look left in three seconds. Mm. <laughs> like it's detailed, and a lot of people are not very detailed like that, so okay. it's like you feel very sure and secure. Mm -hmm. And then let's not forget the actual product. Okay. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. All my attention, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. All my hits. Right. My social media fame itself. Don't no, do that. <laughs> like, I know. Seriously, but, okay. some of the best content that I've okay. like put out has been with you, so there's no reason to stop, you know? Okay. I appreciate that, because mm -hmm. I'm trying to understand more and more with, you know, collectives, I mean, creatives, mm -hmm. to be able to come and, and spend their time and their value. So, you know, for you, at times, there was, like, no true, like, what we're getting out of this, like you know, mm -hmm. but the quality we brought together, it makes sense now. Right. So I always wanted to realize, like, why? Why do you keep, you know, going why does she keep eating my line? <laughs> <laughs> why? Why is she still saying yes? <laughs> you know? And then you were like, oh, I have this project for you. You know, we were talking about dream project at this point. Yes. And you're like, oh, but I sent him like a couple girls, like you know, so he could pick one and stuff. And right, I was right. like, a couple girls. Yeah. Yeah. And I was, <laughs> that was and like I said, I was telling Tone, I was like where he was trying to go, and there's nothing wrong with him thinking that way. You know, he, first glance, music video, influencer, fixing, you know, mm -hmm. it makes sense. You know, they can act to a certain extent. But we were bringing such a strong message. You know, there's only one person I thought of from the jump, she needs to be in this. If it's not, we're gonna have a problem. And I'm telling you, I banged the door. I said, listen, she's doing this. Yes. You know, and he didn't he didn't know, because he was like, who's this? And you know, I was like, trust me when I tell you, when she comes here, she's gonna have the job. Have the job. Mm -hmm. And after that, once he saw you on set and knocked out the first two takes, he was like, okay. Yeah, like, yeah. He, he dabbed me too. I remember he dabbed me. He was like, yeah, bro, you know, I get it now. And I was like, I, 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 I told you. It was like that. So. Yeah. No, I appreciate that a lot. Mm -hmm. And I was happy to be on it because it was the biggest project for us too. Right, right. Um, with money behind it. A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit, a little bit. With a little, you know, little red camera and stuff. Because we were, <laughs> we shot on your Ronin. Yeah, but that's not a see, camera, that's like a thingy, like right? Like a stabilizer. Yeah, that's, yeah. See, that's like when you know we've come full Very circle. Far. Like, I remember I, I bought a DJI running S. I never had a stabilizer before that. So I was like, hey, man, we need to go downtown <laughs> and just shoot the stabilizers. And you were like, oh, running S? You didn't notice. So you were just like, let's yes. just shoot it. And from that to red to full crew, it's like, wow. Exactly. Look where, you know, we came. No, and then, you know what? I, I'm really excited about the idea of, like, um, creating a camp, I guess they call it, where it's like, People that you consistently work with, whether mm -hmm. there's a name behind it or it's just, you know, I, this director always can cast this actor right. in some degree, like right. you'll, you'll find them. Mm -hmm. um, and I really want those types of relationships and I definitely feel like we are, you're the first one of that type. Right, and that's what's something that uh, Tone was talking about, how we gotta build our inner camp mm -hmm. of, you know, collectives that we make sense. And you know, like, you know, like Ryan Coogler, he's always like, if I have a movie, Michael, Michael B. B. Jordan, you know what I'm saying? Yes. So like, it doesn't matter what role it is, he's like, that's my dog. Mm -hmm. You know, he challenges him on his role. So that's, you know, when I'm trying to do moving forward, 
you're that person for me. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So whatever the case may be, we're trying to create and challenge ourselves and really just trying to elevate what we do, you know? Yes. So it's and just then a start. Is, is it, it's, it's just, just a start. start. Because we literally are working on something else again. I'm not even going to, that's Man, not, this ain't that. that mm, this ain't that. And mm. so we're not going to, we go. Let's, let's just say, how do I say this without saying it? Just like June. What we did with Junie was great. Loved it. Yes. But the message, the world we're about to show with this one, mm -hmm. it's just going to change different people's perspectives. Big it's just going to make people think and want more. Exactly. And the role that you have, <laughs> Let's just say. Hmm. We're all challenging ourselves. Yes. And I think that that's the most important thing. Like making sure that, that's why when you get on set, you have to have a good attitude. You have to communicate well. You have to be able to put yourself in a position where the people want to be around you again. That's right. so important to me. Right. So hearing that from, you know, from Tom, from Junie, from you, that mm -hmm. you guys want to do something. Again, and then seeing you guys take action is like, that's the number one compliment for a performer right. uh, in any regard. Right. People that want to see them again. Right. Yeah. So I have a question for you in regards to the film. Um, as a black female lead, mm -hmm. right, what is the importance to you to, you know, to show that message to other creatives, mm -hmm. black creatives, females, that this is what we need to be, this is the power that we represent. Like, yeah. talk about a little bit, you know, with that role and how you feel like that's gonna be able to help others oh see God. that light within love. Exactly, within love. So I think that the important thing is like, black love, melanated love is very real. It, mm. it can be very successful. It can be very positive. It doesn't have to be rooted in struggle. It doesn't mean because you were with him when he was down. Mm. It doesn't have to be any of that. It, ha it has to be, people who respect each other and are committed to each other and are willing to change themselves for the better for each other because you do have to change and by change I don't mean like in a negative way I mean you have to grow and I think that that project shows that and it shows a woman um, you know we see lots of women that look like me but we could see a lot more uh, especially my type I think that you know maybe we fall into the smaller category on camera and it's really important to see, like, people fall in love with us. People get, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I can put the juice on them, right, too. Right. I am beautiful, too. You know what I mean? And there are men that want to treat you right. And I feel like um, that's the most important thing for me as an actress in any project that I do is that whatever the project message is, is something that I also believe in um, and that I want other people to know for themselves and so that they love themselves more. Like, I always want messages where people are empowered to love themselves more. So I feel like that was something that we got out of me and Junie. You know, Junie was relentlessly in love, relentlessly. right? Relentlessly. Hopelessly no. in love. When I had an attitude, mm -hmm. when I did this, when I did that, he still was focused and steadfast. And that is something that, you know, some women do have. And we don't want to act like that's not the case for black love. We don't want to act like the only versions of black love are those that come from pain right. or, 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 or pressure. Yeah. You know what I mean? No, and that's a great, you know, point because the story that we have, you know, when a woman doesn't want to fall in love, mm -hmm. doesn't want to have that love back. Mm -hmm. Typically men are like, oh, I don't see that, I'm leaving. Right. You know, but for, for us to be able to show like, hey, for the guy perspective, don't stop. Yes. Keep going. Yes. You know what I mean? Even if she's not showing you that what you want to see, like that trait or, you know, the look of the eye, whatever, mm -hmm. like, just stay steadfast. Exactly. And understand patience is key. Right. Understanding that, you know, if you have love, which like I said, love is just a whole system. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It will come back full circle. Yeah. If you exactly. believe and trust into it, you know, and that's when like I, that's why I love how you show so many different elements and personality of like, hey, I'm going through this struggle, but I still love him, mm -hmm. and I'm still willing to look at him when he, like I said, the, the, the scene when he's he's just performing his art out. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, mm -hmm. he's just out here just literally laying on line, and you come in and you give him a look. Mm -hmm. And the, the biggest goal when I was trying to do with that shot was I didn't want him to see you. Yes. I wanted him, you know, to just act like he was by himself. Right. But we see yes. that you're there. We yes. see that, you know, we understand that you having that dilemma, but you're willing to understand like, hey, let me stop overthinking this idea and show the love that he deserves. Exactly. You know, and exactly. I think that's a big key for us to show moving forward for people in relationships now. It's to show that, hey, you can go through a lot. Relationships are hard. Mm -hmm. Love is hard. Mm -hmm. But it's very easy just to Look left and say, hey, we can fix this. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That's what a lot of people don't do. They don't fix things. Right. You know what I mean? So it's just, that's it's an important message. That I love how you be able to express that within this film. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I really, really appreciated that message myself, honestly. Yeah. yeah, it's just like to reiterate the idea that somebody can keep 
um, especially, let me, let me just yeah, yeah, circle yeah. back, the idea that it's not always the woman that has to like hold on. Mm. <laughs> Sometimes the man has to hold on for the woman to get her head on straight, and yeah. I like that perspective. Yeah. So if you ever describe this film in one word, If I would describe it in one word, it mm. would be empowering. Mm. Mm. Okay. Because love wins. Yeah. So, Yellow Dust. Yeah. Uh, the reason why I decided to name it Yellow Dust is because, actually, I was listening to an interview like a few years ago and this guy was talking about um, a sunflower. And the sunflower basically was being used in Japan um, years ago when America bombed um, bombed their country with the atomic bomb mm -hmm. and there was tons of radiation so basically they would plant uh, sunflowers in different areas to help absorb radiation which was crazy so um, I just thought about it I was just like okay what if we as people were able to actually um, take on that whole concept of all the negativity that's around um, just be able to you know look at the negative situations and absorb that negativity and go a step further and exude positivity and that's where yellow dust comes in because it's the pollen of a of a sunflower mm -hmm. so um yeah so it's, it's really you know to narrow it down it's really basically um uh how do i say it? it's it's taking a negative situation and just putting positivity into it and looking for a better outcome yeah, That's I like that a lot. Yeah. I like that a lot. I know you have a sunflower tattoo too, don't you? I have a sunflower tattoo. It's my only one. Oh, wow. And I know you're into thug guys and stuff, you know. Right. Um, on right. set, you were actually listening to Thug Passion while we were recording. So, I mean, don't lie. I know I know you are. <laughs> it's okay, though. It's so, okay. So, I am into thug guys. So, just so you don't tell nobody that we have a situation, because I know that <laughs> the video is going to prove otherwise. Or, or, or give people the feeling otherwise because yeah, of that. your wonderful performance. Well, you know, actually, <laughs> I would have to give the uh, Oscar award to you because um, you basically brought that film to life, you know? Thank you. And yeah, you did a great job, actually. I drew sunflowers on set in my little notebook. Um, do you remember that? I don't. I'm just kidding, I do remember. <laughs> <laughs> I spent all that time with you after yeah. all we've been through. Yeah. I drew those sunflowers just for you, just to get into the vibe of yeah. the yellow dust energy, yeah. okay? Yeah. I but don't do that for everybody. I was gonna say, but that that shows how good you are, you know, with what you do, honestly, because <laughs> you know, you you're able to take a situation and you're able to, you know, find what will help put you in that place and mm -hmm. then go there and then, you know, just be present, yeah, exactly. Be present. Yeah. I mean, I had a lot of fun on this shoot, actually. Like, from the behind the scenes crew to us on camera, like, we laughed a lot. We had a good vibe. And you're a Sagittarius, so I didn't expect that. Yeah, well, you know, <laughs> hey, you know, it is what it is. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but it was, it was definitely a good vibe. So, one question for you What was the most memorable thing about this project? Shooting it? The most memorable thing? Mm -hmm. Uh, the most memorable thing would have to be mm, so many good moments, but mm, you know what? I don't know what the most memorable thing is. There were so many good moments, you know, like the biggest thing for me was really, uh, aside from the entire experience itself mm -hmm. and learning, um, you know, just seeing how the professionals work uh, behind the scenes and, and bringing it all to life. Aside from that, it was really just watching and looking at the final product mm -hmm. because you kind of see like, you know, okay, this is like the vision that we had and it came to pass and it looks crazy, you know? So, yeah. yeah. It was it was honestly gorgeous. Like it, it was cold that day in the morning. Yes. Very, was. very, very cold. So yeah. we had to be very strong because right. we were like out in the wind. Yeah. Exactly. With, what is it? A convertible truck that you drove? Yes, man. How long did you drive that truck for? I drove it from what was it? It was about maybe an hour ride. I drove it um, with the roof off, <laughs> the top off, on the freeway in the cold, but I was bundled up, bundled up, and so, you know, it was cool, whatever. I think I actually got sick after that. Yeah, you, you know? did. But it's, it's okay, it was worth it. Yeah. It was worth it. Because I feel like I was starting to feel a little sick. Um, 
And the funny thing Don't is... Don't blame that on me, because I didn't... <laughs> I didn't get you sick. The funny thing is, um, I was going to shoot two projects that weekend, but yours was the priority project. Oh, thank you. You know what I'm saying? And it was so cold, like, I started feeling my body get especially tired, I guess, because you're, like, overworking to yeah. stay warm and just be present. Yeah. And then I, like, ended up canceling on that other shoot. Uh, which is okay, because they didn't need me as much as you did. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. You're right. I did need <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, it was freezing out there, you know. Yeah. But I mean, everybody handled it well, you know. Yeah. And we pushed through and we made it happen, you know. So, right, yeah, right. So. Not to mention getting pulled over by the police. Yeah. <laughs> Are we gonna advertise that? It was real. It was real, you know. Yeah. We got pulled over. There was a lot of uh, what are you doing over there activity. Yeah, yeah. And um, what did, what did, I think Tone said that we were students. <laughs> <laughs> Give it all up. He was like, yo, yeah, we just taking some photos. Yeah, yeah, just, just a couple pictures for the gram. That's all officers, a picture for the gram. Hey, but who was it? Was this, um, oh, what's the white guy's name? I can't remember his name. Oh, God. Oh, man, he's so cool, man. Incredible, incredibly talented. Um, but um, <laughs> he definitely helped the situation just as, Austin, yeah, Austin, yeah, yeah. Him being there, man, I think he helped the whole police situation. The guy was just like, okay. All right, you guys are cool, man. Just, yeah. you know, I need you guys to just all sit down in there, you know. But yeah, right. it was, I mean, it was an experience. It was, it was cool, though, you know. Listen, I didn't say a word. I didn't make any eye contact. <laughs> I, I think you and me both were sitting in the front like, okay. <laughs> Let's listen to these guys <laughs> hammering this out. <laughs> yeah, that's out of my pay grade. They ain't yeah, paying yeah, me yeah. for that. We, we cool, we cool. We gonna, we, gonna, we gonna figure this out. Yeah, I do think Austin had something to do with it. I think that the, the police officer not seeing the red camera had something to do with it. You know, yeah. us all not talking at one time had something yeah, to do yeah, with it. Yeah. So we handled it yeah, very well. We handled it good. Yeah, and we didn't, we didn't miss a shot. We did. We did. <laughs> so, but yeah, it was a good experience, you know. Mm -hmm. It happens. Yeah. Okay, so Junie, we had to emote on this project, right? Yes, we had yeah. to show love. We Definitely. had to show passion. Get in that space. And in that, be in that space, be yeah. present together. And I know that it was definitely a challenge for you to overcome. And I feel that you were successful, but like, what can you speak about that? You know, being a musician and having to really perform as an actor in that project. I mean, it's really, really similar to how I approach my music. Like, mm. my legal name is Calvin Gary Jr., right? Junie came from Junior. Mm -hmm. My younger sister, or my older sister used to try to call me Junior and she'd always say Junie, so my family adopted it. So when I'm just out, I'm just Calvin for the most part. Everybody calls me Junie, but I'm, I'm Calvin. But oh. when I get in the studio and I'm starting to work on my music and whatnot, I have to go into this space where it's like, yo, this is Junie. So it's a whole different mindset, you know? So it was really similar in that way. The only difference is now I'm on camera and I got a, pretend, you know, like, you know, <laughs> and you're great, <laughs> but you know, I gotta pretend. And it can be challenging because, you know, I am a, uh, you know, I'm a hopeless romantic. I, I consider myself that. Uh, I'm all about love. I'm all about <laughs> all that stuff. Everything that I sing about, everything I write about, like it's actually, it's a part of me, you know? Mm -hmm. So um, to, to act it is a little bit difficult, you know, so, you know, I don't know. It's just one of those things. Like it's, 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 it was kind of it was very difficult to, to yeah. do that. Yeah. You know? No, I definitely saw that, but I think that we got you warmed up. Yeah. You know, by the time we got to you, like the location too, I think you were like in your vibe a little bit yeah. um, as far as the emotions were going. And you know, it was easy for me because I had to act like I didn't really like you at some point, and that was really yeah. Yeah. I know no, was easy. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I, I, yeah. I was playing somebody who wasn't sure. Right. Um, and that was very relatable you know uh for a lot of people for me personally yeah. but i definitely feel like um we got the emotion that we yeah, needed definitely, yeah definitely and and going back to the whole yellow dust thing like i think that was an amazing thing um just to be able to capture that because it's like you know like i'm just i'm playing a role like you know what okay i see she she, she you know she's having her moment but you know we're still gonna keep a positive vibe mm -hmm. and we're gonna we're gonna see if we can turn this thing around and that was the struggle in the whole film and and uh, i'm just happy with the way it came out yeah so, yeah 100 yeah, percent. yeah yeah i have my favorite parts and stuff like that you know i have my favorite moments that i think about i have my little intense little scene yeah, you know in yeah. the mirror what's your favorite part when i was looking in the mirror at myself like <laughs> mm, am i really gonna stay with 
with this man. I don't even know if you saw, you saw that or if you were in the room. I don't think I, oh, wait a minute, wait. I was because that's when you guys were talking about, I think you were talking about Thug Passion or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to, I had to really dig deep you had to a dig little deep, bit. Man, like, <laughs> Especially with you, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I had to dig deep and I had a good time with it. Yeah. Um, and the music, not to mention the music it makes oh, it easy, you. you know. Thank you. For sure. I have another question for you. Can you sing? <laughs> Just, wait, 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 wait. Okay, okay. You sing a note and then I'll sing it back. Uh, uh, sing a note? Yeah, just give me something. Well, you must be my angel. Okay. You must be my angel. <laughs> <laughs> Good? You're guilty, huh? Thank you, thank you. Cause you were trying to get me to sing on the set. You were, you were actually giving me free no, lessons. I was. Which I greatly appreciate. You thank you. You were inter improvising, etc. That's great. One more time. <laughs> you must be my angel. The diaphragm, right? Diaphragm, yeah, 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 okay. You must be my angel. <laughs> <laughs> it was good. Was the face where it needed to be or was that? No, you had it, you were perfect. Okay, yeah. No, because I heard some ad-libs on your album and stuff and I really was feeling a little jealous because I feel like if you want people to do ad-libs and stuff, you can reach out, but. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to do one, okay? Okay, I got you. Maybe I won't sing. I, I got you on the background. <laughs> I got you on the solos. Solos? solos? Yeah. Okay. Solos. Whatever you want. It's Junie's zone. Okay. <laughs> okay. <For> sure. <laughs> I'm sorry. I like messing with you though. You're funny. I know. I know. Yeah, you have you have a good attitude about it. Oh, it's, it's great. You're great. You're great. Thank You're great. you. Kitty Ann. Yes. So. How you doing? The man with the plan. The one who sets the tone. That's a bar. That is a bar. I know. Get that? <laughs> We make that. We definitely need to keep that. That's gonna I like be that. yeah. Set the tone. Can I get a T-shirt? Set the tone. What? Producers, Anyways. producers, <laughs> set the tone. Oh. So um, the number one thing I remember about you with this project was this very specific moment where we were setting up the lighting for the outside window and that like direct light shot that was like super moody, like with this circle ray around my face kind of thing and how many times you came inside and outside and inside and outside. That's when I really noticed so <laughs> can you talk about uh, that that um day and just mm. setting up the lighting, setting up the DP duties. Oh that day was tough and it was tough because this location we didn't we didn't actually get a chance to see it before we only saw photos of it right, right. so when we got there in the morning me and jelani had to basically map out we, we had an idea of the shots we wanted to have like we knew we wanted to have like the silhouette shots like the bedroom and things like that but just you can't you can't account for just certain curtains and the way the light was coming through and creating all these shadows casting these shadows on your face and mm -hmm. unflattering for any any person um and yeah me and rj were running out there scrambling i think rj had you know one foot on a C stand, he was kind of holding it. Like, it was like, to the top, it was, it was high. The C stand was really high and the wind's blowing and he's trying to hold it mm -hmm. and uh, it was a struggle. Yes. <laughs> On the inside though, it looked beautiful. I'm glad, okay? I'm glad. We couldn't tell. <laughs> <laughs> we were just like shouting, because we didn't have walkie, typically you should have walkie talkies, but we didn't have it. Right, right, right. So we was like, hey, does it look good? It's good. Yeah, it's good, okay. Yeah, 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 we're rolling with it, we're rolling with it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it was nice. I mean, um, when we were outside, it definitely was like, we were. We, I felt a little scattered, so I didn't really get to know how people worked as much. We were out in the elements and focused on other things. But when we got inside, I definitely saw like an intense focus from you, like intense um, communication and everything. And you were, just, you were just the man with the plan, you know? So how long did it take to set up the plan? Well, we're talking before or after. Because, I mean, it, the reality is me and Jelani had spoke a lot about that prior to even getting on set. Right. So we had a plan when we got on set. But, again, there's so many things that Change. you can't account for. Mm -hmm. We ended up just kind of winging it in a way. Like, a, like not completely winging it. I would say, like, 50% mm -hmm. winging it, 50% we planned it. So, right, right, right. Yeah. And trust, trusting the people that you have. Exactly. And Austin, I, I think we spoke about him earlier. I mean, I can't yeah. think enough. Of, I can't thank him enough for just having him on set, too. And just as a cinematographer and just being able to just not even have to ask him to do certain things. We'd right. be like, hey, we're thinking like this, or I'm, I'm setting up the light this way. He would already start grabbing the frame. He'd have an mm -hmm. idea of what we wanted to have 
and it was it just worked out that way. So. Yeah, Austin had focus, and you and when you have the team like that, you can delegate and leave it up to their discretion for certain moments, so that you don't have to be everywhere at every time. And I think we definitely had that. Yeah, yeah. I thank Jelani for that though, okay. because that's the first time I've had. Well, I've been a part of other teams with smaller mm -hmm. projects, but. With Jelani, that was the first time I had a chance to really like be able to delegate something mm -hmm. to someone. Because typically somebody else is delegating and I'm just, I'm getting delegated to do things. Wow. It was good for me to be able to be like, hey, can you help do this? Can you help do this? Move this? You right. Because kind of like, I wouldn't know. Like, I seriously wouldn't know based on my perspective. I think that might have, no, it wasn't the first time I met you, but it was the first time I worked with you. Mm -hmm. And from my perspective, it seemed like you had been doing this very often. Mm -hmm. So you guys had a rhythm, thank you know you, what I mean? You, you had a focus. You. And yeah. like I said, just like you were able to trust everybody, like that gave us the confidence to trust the team too and just be able to focus on what was our role mm. instead of having to be 10 different roles because you don't trust the people's opinions and, mm. and, and what they say looks good. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so we all got to do what we were there for. Yeah, I always wondered, like as an actress and, and especially because we haven't worked together before, like what people feel about the set. Because in my mind, I'm like, yo, the set's chaotic. There's yeah. people running everywhere. I'm like, do they think we look crazy? Do, do we look disorganized? But right. so it's always good to hear like, you know, I guess, I don't know what your perspective was that day, but in my mind, I'm like, this is chaos. Right. But right. maybe you feel differently about it. No, 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 I felt differently. But I now you say that, I remember <laughs> you're like, Katie, and I can't tell if you're mad at me or not. <laughs> you kept saying that. And I was like, am I mad? I don't know. Like, I can't remember how Focus. I was feeling. Yeah, Focus. I was in a bunch of different emotions mm. at different times. But ultimately, as far as the team was concerned, like, I was super happy to be there. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. I'm, I'm glad to hear it. So, <laughs> um, yeah, every, everybody seemed to have a good energy about it. We didn't have. We didn't have any mishaps or anything. I think everybody was pretty, uh, like I said, you just had a focus. And that was like the first thing I noticed. That's why, you know, to answer that question is like, I was like, I don't know if she's mad or if she just that focused. And mm -hmm. um, I don't know if you were, now from like an acting perspective, if you were like in the method acting or if you just, like how, do, how does that work for you when you get this kind of role? Yeah. And like, what, what's your thought process as far as like how you, you know what I mean? Getting the character and yeah. I don't know anything about that, so. For me, when I'm doing any kind of role with like love scenes and that kind of intimacy, like the number one thing is the chemistry for me. Mm. So I'm really focused on making sure my co-star is comfortable with me. And I usually try and make people comfortable by making them laugh. Mm. So I get Juni like loose, you know what I mean? And I get him in a space where he feels like he can talk to me and he doesn't feel like tight, tightened up by um, the relationship that him and I are supposed to have. And then once we get to that understanding, because I had just met him as well, and once we started getting to that comfortable space, I feel like it was reflecting, you know? Mm -hmm. And so for me, like, that's the number one thing is, like, the people I'm working with, understanding me, me understanding them, otherwise nothing else is going to translate. Yeah, I mean, the chemistry was, was man, I, watching it when it was edited, like, first I had the first edit, and then Jelani took over uh, and finalized all the edits, and my first reaction was like, wow, like, this chemistry was... And again, I didn't, because remember during that scene, me and RJ were lighting on the outside. We didn't get a chance to, and the room was kind of small, so we didn't want to crowd the room. I and mean, we were, I didn't get a chance to see what it was looking like. So my first, uh, like, my first, like, um, Jesus, I don't know what I'm trying to say. My first time seeing the footage was when we got it uh, in post back home. Mm -hmm. And I looked at it and I was like, wow. I looked at Megan and Megan was with me. And I was like, do you see, like this this is amazing? And look at their chemistry. They look this looks so real. I was like, I'm tear. Tear. <laughs> you know, fuck tear. But it, I, you know, and I, I thank you for that because, you know, Junior obviously being a first time actor, you know, he it looks like he'd been doing that forever. And that clearly now that I know it's it's part of that with you, you probably made him laugh. Yeah. So you are funny. So Thank you. you are, thank you, you for the people. You are Have funny. you heard it, people? <laughs> You are funny. You Thank are funny. you. Thank you. Yeah, that was the biggest thing for me. And um, Junie was receptive to that, so we were able to make it work, and it was cool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so. The only mistake I'll say is somebody ordered Pizza Hut, not Domino's, and that was Bruh. a little crazy for me. Bruh. Who? Oh, no. <laughs> there, there may be some. Now, listen, for the people that can't see these cameras, there may be pointing, finger, pointing, finger pointing going on in the background. <laughs> uh, people who ordered. What did they order, Pizza Hut or Domino's? It was Pizza Hut, but it was good. Don't get me wrong. It was, was it good, good though? But or was I, it acceptable? It was acceptable. Okay. Thank you. Okay. It was acceptable. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and at that point, yeah, we were hungry. We we're all working hard. So it was mm. like, whatever you could feed me, I'll take it. Word, word. Yeah, <laughs> I feel you when I feel you.